So in Italy, they just have a very different idea of personal space. I definitely go more for the slow drinking culture. Hey guys, it's Caroline and today I'm going to be talking about the American versus the Italian side of me and which characteristics of each culture I've taken on. So yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start with my American side and which parts of the American culture I tend to lean towards. So the first thing that I am more American about is my personal space. So in Italy, they just have a very different idea of personal space and people tend to stand really close to you, even if they don't know you very well, like if you're waiting for a train, people People will stand really close to you next to you and if you're talking to someone having a conversation they'll stand really close to you whereas in America we usually give each other like a few feet of distance and we don't get too close to each other especially if you don't know someone but even friends like you'll give each other at least a foot or two of space whereas in Italy like a friend of yours will like literally talk six inches from your face <laughs> and I just tend to like my space a little more. I love hugging and being touchy with people I care about, but when I'm just going about my daily life, I do like to have a little more of like a personal bubble around me. So I would say I'm more American in that way. All right, the next thing I'm more American about is my driving. So in Italy, I actually don't drive. I don't have an Italian license, but I also don't wanna drive there because people drive like maniacs. And in America, people are more cautious. I did just get in an accident, so obviously accidents can happen anywhere in the world. And luckily my accident was not worse than it was. But I will say in Italy, the driving is just a lot more chaotic and dangerous and risky because Italians see rules more as like suggestions, whereas Americans tend to follow the road rules. But in Italy, for example, like a stop sign, if there's someone to stop for, they'll stop, but if not, they'll just run it. So it is a little scarier to drive in Italy and I would just say I'm more comfortable driving in America and I tend to drive more American. I like to like follow the rules when I drive. So I would say I'm more American in that way too. Another thing I'm more American about is waiting in line. So Italians, if you're like waiting in line for something, they all just kind of bunch together and cut in front of each other. And there's never really an actual like orderly line. It's everyone's just sort of in a group and pushing in front of each other. And it's hard to really keep your spot in line unless you like push people or just like really be aggressive about it. Whereas in America, everyone's like very respectful and understands there's an order. And if you're in line, you wait for the person in front of you and then you take your turn. In Italy, it's just more like, ah, we all have to get to the front. So <laughs> it's just a little different. And I prefer the American way because I get stressed when I'm trying to wait in line in Italy and everyone's cutting me and I'm too nice to be like, hey, that's my spot. And so, yeah, I'd say I like the American way of waiting in line. Okay, the last thing that makes me American is snacking. So snacking is way more part of the American culture than the Italian culture, and I love snacking. I mean, snack foods are definitely some of my favorite foods, especially if I'm watching a movie or something at night or just hungry between lunch and dinner. I like having some popcorn or something crunchy. So I would say I am more American in the way that I like to snack. Okay, so now for my Italian side. Something that is very Italian about me is I like the slow drinking culture of Italy. So even while I'm in America, I do follow this slow drinking lifestyle. I never go out and just take a bunch of shots and try to get super drunk and have a crazy night. If I end up getting a little tipsy, it's because I've had a certain number of drinks, but I've done so in a really slow way. So I never like get out of control drunk, which it's fine if you do, but that's just not really a part of the Italian culture. It's more a slow drinking culture. So you have your wine with dinner. You might have a couple of drinks after dinner, but you're not drinking with the purpose of getting like super drunk and feeling horrible the next day and not remembering what you did the night before. So yeah, I definitely go more for the slow drinking culture. The next Italian thing about me is I'm late for things. So in Italy, it's very rare for anyone to be on time for anything. Even the trains are always running late and that's because the conductors are running late and that's just how it is in Italy. People have a different way of doing time there. If someone says, I'll meet you for a coffee at one, you show up at like 110, 115. If you show up right at one, you're not gonna see them and it's gonna be weird that you got there right on time. Whereas in America, people are pretty punctual and if you set a time, people are there within a few minutes of the time you set. In Italy, it's like the time is once again more just like a suggestion like around then, but you always will show up a few minutes late. 
I have gotten better with my time as I've spent more time in America recently, but I still do show up a few minutes late at least to whatever I'm going to, unless it's a really important meeting or something. If I'm just like meeting someone for a drink, I'll usually be a few minutes late and that's just a more Italian thing about me. Okay, so another Italian thing about me is that I don't stock up on tons of food at home. I'll usually buy a few days worth of food and then I'll go buy more food when I run out of that. A lot of Americans will buy maybe a couple weeks worth of food to have at home or a week's worth of food and they'll have a lot of food in the freezer, in the pantry, and so they never really run out. But I like to buy more fresh food and when I go grocery shopping, I don't like to get a massive haul and that's what we do in Italy. We'll buy food every few days or so and then we just go to the grocery store more often. So yeah, that is definitely a more Italian thing about me. All right, the last thing is the slow pace of life. So in America, there's this sort of fast pace, like everything's planned out, your schedule from sun up to sundown is packed and you have a routine and you stick to it and you know what you're gonna be doing Monday through Friday. And there's just this busy mentality in America of running from one place to the next and getting one thing done and doing the next thing. And of course I have days like that once in a while that I'm more productive and I have a lot more to do. But in general, I like to just take each day as it comes and I don't like to have tons of commitments and I just kind of go with the flow and see what comes up each day. And that's definitely a more Italian way of living whereas in america people like to know what they're doing like a month in advance and have coffee dates booked like three weeks in advance and in italy we just call up our friends the same day and we're like hey you want to get a coffee and it's just very chill and a lot of people have their schedules more open and they're more willing to plan things last minute so i'd say that's a much more italian thing about me too okay so that's everything as far as the italian versus american side of me let me know in the comments if you guys are more italian or american and what parts of each culture you tend towards if you have experienced both life in italy life in america or maybe have spent time in both countries i'm curious how you guys feel about these if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this and follow me on Instagram to see what I'm up to day to day and make sure to also follow me on TikTok. I've been posting word of the days on TikTok every single day so you can learn a new Italian word from me every day of the week. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao for now.